Today we remember the soul of Manuel da Silva. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. As we come together to celebrate the Eucharist, we remember our need for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Go and proclaim in the hearing of Jerusalem. Thus says the Lord. I remember the devotion of your youth, your love as a bride, how you followed me in the wilderness in a land not sown. Israel was holy to the Lord first fruits of his harvest. All who ate of it were held guilty. Disaster came upon them, says the Lord. I brought you into a plentiful land to eat its fruits and its good things. But when you entered, you defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination. The priests did not say, where is the Lord? Those who handled the law did not know me. The rulers transgressed against me. The prophets prophesied by Baal and went after things that do not profit. Be appalled, O heavens, at this. Be shocked, be utterly desolate, says the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me fountain of living water, and dug out cisterns for themselves, cracked cisterns that can hold no water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are the source of life, O Lord. You are the source of life, O Lord. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your judgments are like the great deep. You are the source of life, O Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. All people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your delights. You are the source of life, O Lord. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. O oh, continue your steadfast love to those who know you, and your salvation to the upright of heart. You are the source of life, O oh Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples came and asked Jesus, Why do you speak to the people in parables? He answered, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. For to those who have, more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who have nothing, even what they have, will be taken away. The reason I speak to them in parables is that seeing they do not perceive, and hearing they do not listen, nor do they understand. With them indeed is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah that says, You will indeed listen, but never understand. You will indeed look, but never perceive. For this people's heart has grown dull, and their ears are hard of hearing, and they have shut their eyes, so that they might not look with their eyes, and listen with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see. And your ears, for they hear. Truly I tell you, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. These, uh, over the years, I've had an opportunity to visit the Holy Land and the importance of water in, the, in Israel, because so much of it is desert. In fact, over the years, the last number of years, they've done a lot to manage the water resources in the country more and more in order to protect that precious commodity of water. And so in the first reading we hear Jeremiah talking about the cisterns that are cracked. And so if the cistern is cracked, it can't hold the water. There's all kinds of natural cisterns, but if you dig out your own cistern, if it, as it were, needs to be either in a natural place where there's going to be rock that's going to prevent the cistern from draining the water, or you have to plaster the walls so that it protects and doesn't have a crack and retains the water. And for us to be able to hear and receive God's word, to be able to understand the parables that Matthew has recounted Jesus saying in the last number of passages of, of uh, this of the gospel, we recognize that we need to be a good cistern, if you will, not cracked. Uh, and I think that this uh, gospel passage helped the early church to understand that some people just didn't get it. They would hear the word proclaimed, they would hear Jesus, they would hear the parables, but sometimes they just didn't get it. Maybe it was easier to understand that, that um, the uh, parables were uh, only fully understood by the apostles, the inner circle, but uh, sometimes nobody really got the message, nobody understood. And so I think this passage might have been a comfort for that early church as they struggled to understand the parables, the, the wisdom that Jesus was sharing. Here at the altar of the Lord, we look, we hear, we perceive, and we recognize God's great gift in Christ Jesus, our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness we have this bread to offer. The earth is given, human hands have made, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, the martyrs, St. Bridget and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen Lord who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant us, almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.